Try anyway on this uh, Wednesday morning. We're talking about the eclipse that's coming up this weekend. And while we may not be able to see it, there's an even better one and bigger one coming up next year. So I'm going to show you the difference between the two. That's our question from Tom in Knoxville. What's the difference between the annular eclipse that this weekend and the total solar eclipse coming up? in 2024. Well, let's talk about what the eclipse is first. This is not to scale, by the way, so don't come at me in the comments section about how big these planets are, but this is what happens with the eclipse uh, coming up this weekend and next year. You've got the moon that just positions itself just right between the sun and the earth, casting that shadow and also kind of blocking out some of the sun, of course. So let's talk about what's going to come up this weekend. And this is what we would call a partial eclipse because we're not going to cover up the entire sun, rather just a fraction of it. And that is this weekend, October 5th, uh, 14th. It begins at 1030 in the morning. The maximum is about 1154. But again, we're expecting cloudy skies. The meaty one, if you will, that everybody's planning their vacation and trips for next year. That's the total uh, solar eclipse. And that's on April 8th of 2024. That begins just after the noon hour. This is the one that everybody's going downstate to Carbondale for. We'll be able to see some of it here in the Quad Cities, but if you want the full experience, you'll have to go south. So we're talking about full coverage versus just partial coverage. And as always, you can read more about this at WQAD.com a little later this morning, just before GMQC at 11. Guys.